Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So guys, previously I was announcing you all that we'll be starting with the interview series. So guys, this will be the video one of our interview series. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the Python interview questions, which might come on your interviews in the coding round. I'm telling you all about the coding round. Theoretical questions also we'll be discussing. In this video, I'll be showing you all an important interview question, which might come in your interview, a logical interview question and also at the end of this video i'll be giving you all one theoretical question you have to reply the answer in the comment section so guys let's not waste our time let's dive into our topic before that who can see this video for whom this particular interview questions will be helpful so guys this particular interview questions will be helpful for one python developer data scientists and data engineers even sometimes it will be helpful for data analyst also you can check out this video completely i'll try to explain you all each question with the coding answer which we'll be getting and the output i'll try to summarize that particular coding output also so guys let's not waste our time now let's dive into our jupyter notebook and discuss more about that so guys one more important thing so this particular interview series which i have started this will not only be helping for the freshers and student but also it will be helpful for the two plus years of experience candidate also so guys do check out this coding questions properly try to understand the logic behind each and every question it doesn't mean that whatever questions i am teaching here that will only be repeated in your interviews almost these kind of similar logic questions you will be getting so try to understand that particular logic you will definitely be easily able to crack that particular coding interview so now let us dive into our google collab and you can see i have already written a question for you all write a python program to count each alphabet available in a string or frequency of alphabets and display the count of each alphabet so guys before explaining you all about this do consider subscribing the channel and even share this videos with your friends so that it will be helpful for them and also it will be helpful for the community and also guys i'll be giving you all a theoretical question because the first round in the interview will be your theoretical questions only so after each and every coding question i'll be giving you all one theoretical question i want you all to answer the theoretical question and comment that answer below this video so guys now let us not waste our time let me just first explain you this question so write a python program to count each alphabet available in a string what does this mean the interviewer is telling you that i'll be giving you a string so you have to tell me each alphabet count for example let me give you an example let us take youtube itself so how many times did y come in that particular string so i want you to give me the count of that how many times did o come u come so you have to give that particular count so if it is repeated then you should not again give there one it should come there in this particular first only that it should increment to two how can you do that so guys there are two ways to do that i'll be showing you all the first way and then the second way okay two for each and every coding question or else coding problem you will be having the multiple ways not only the one particular way so let me just take a string example like x is equal so i'll take my name itself so it's done so i have taken x is equals to subscribers sorry sai kumar my name itself now let us uh, code it for i'll take a comma m in c dot items print yeah ye m and equals to space yes it will throw out an error invalid c dot items okay c 
three dot items it should be a normal bracket I have given dictionaries so guys you can see here I have taken a comma m and for this I have written the code to store that but how it is looking see s is equals to 1 a 2 i 1 k 1 u 1 it is looking a bit kind of awkward it is not that uh, it is not the way to present it in a better way so what this is the one method to write the code yeah you will get the output but it is not looking that well it is not presenting that well so I will be showing you all another code which will be presenting very well c is equals to I will be taking dictionary format for i in let me take as x for i in x i in variable x if i not in c c of i is equals to 1 so if i is not in c just increment it to 1 c of i means take that variable to c and it will be 1 else print c of i plus or equal to 1 so what does this mean guys so it is saying nothing but so if c is equal to this particular dictionary format for i in x so if i is not in c c of i is equals to 1 it is nothing but if that particular in that x variable if i is not there then take that particular variable and increment it else if it is already available then take that to the existing variable and increment it so I have run the code. The code ran successfully. Now let us see print C. So you can see here guys how it is presenting very well in the dictionary format. You can see here S is equals to 1. S is nothing but your key and this is your value pair. Key value. Key value. So this is looking a bit attractive and it is even easy code a simple code not that complex also now if you want to change anything let us take any example like you want to change it to i'll give you something randomly so i'll take something randomly and i'll execute this now again i'll run this same code let us see so you can see a h2 d2 k is equals to 1 u1 j1 e2 g1 f1 so this particular code is very easy and it is very easy to represent anyone's name you can take anyone's name my name or else anyone's name even the interviewer might tell his own company name also like you can say google itself i'll just take the example of google so done google so you can see a g2 o2 L once and E came once so it is very easy to code they, this is the first question for you all interview question it's easy to understand and you can easily write the output also so if you understand this particular logic you can easily get the output you are getting my point so guys and as I already tell you told you all that I'll be asking you all an interview question so just tell me um, anyone theoretical interview question so I'll be asking you about a machine learning just tell me the difference between supervised and unsupervised machine learning and mention two supervised algorithms and two unsupervised algorithms okay so, so guys that's all for today's video do like share and subscribe the channel thank you all bye bye Let's meet you all in the next video.